to the YouTube channel. So this is the lecture three of ISR Unit One, that is Introduction to Information Retrieval. So in this video, we'll start with the second main topic, that is Automatic Text Analysis. And in this video, we'll cover the Loon's Idea and Conflation Algorithm from this topic. So this whole topic, that is Basic Concept of IR, is already covered in the previous videos. So the link of that videos are given in the description as well as in the i button. You can watch that videos. So we'll start with the loons idea. So the loons propose that the significance of each word in a document signifies how important it is. So for example, if you have type one query or a sentence in the search box, uh, say you have type how to download an app from Play Store in Android. Okay, you have typed this sentence in the search box. So Loons propose that the significance of each word. So whatever there are words, that is how to download. So these different words are there. So the significance of that words in a document signifies how important it is. So what is the role of that particular word in the searching process is nothing but its significance. Okay, if it plays an important role, then it is more significant. If it does not play an important role, it is considered as not significant or insignificant. An idea is that any sentence with maximum occurrences of the highest frequency words. So these highest frequency words are also referred as top words or common words and least occurrences are not important to the meaning of document than others. So what Loon says that the maximum occurrences of commonly used words and the least occurrences of the words are not that much important. Or does not play an important role while searching or while the retrieval of information so he has given one a graph so which is frequency of words denoted by small f against words by rank order denoted by smaller so here if we apply upper cutoff and lower cutoff on these words by rank order order we'll have three sections this section first section second section and third section which is between the upper cutoff and lower cutoff so first section from the perspective of the diagram it is present at the right side so in that section we have the stop words so stop words is nothing but the maximum occurrences of the highest frequency words so basically which are commonly typed words so in our sentence we have how to download app from play store so in that we can have the how to so these words are commonly typed so these can be neglected then we have an app so and can be neglected from also can be neglected in android so in can be neglected so these are nothing but these top words then uh, here at the uh, left side of the diagram from the perspective of the diagram there are least occurrences of the word so which are present in the sentence but they are not uh, playing an important role so they are also neglected so here we only left with the middle section which is between the upper cutoff and the lower cutoff and in that section we have the significant words okay so which is shaded here and the power of that significant words is referred as the resolving power of significant words which is represented by the dotted lines so this is the graph which is given by the loon uh, which is of frequency of words against words by rank order so the explanation whatever i have explained is written here so in this method we select sentences or the documents with highest concentration of salient content terms in short the more significant words then we have considered the graph of frequency of words against words by uh, rank order and if we apply upper cutoff and lower cutoff on words by rank order We'll get three different section namely first section which is the right section will have the words that are occurring more frequently and does not contribute from the perspective of the content of document so these words are also called as stop words so definition of the stop words is given in the brackets the words that are so common and can be excluded from searches are called as stop words or common words so these are the words that does not play an important role so they can be neglected then in the second section that is the left section will have the words that are occurring rarely 
but still does not contribute from the perspective of content of document or identifies what the document is about. Same as the stop words, it is also not playing an important role, but it is occurring less occur. Okay, it occurs rarely. Then in the third section, which is the middle section, which is between the upper cutoff and lower cutoff, we'll have the more significant words. And that actually contributes from the perspective of content of document. And the power that these words are going to have is called as resolving power of significant words. So this is nothing but the loon's idea. Then here is a list of some stop words uh, like a about, above, across, after, down, during, each, for, Okay, is it it's so these are some stop words I have mentioned here. You can get the complete list on the internet. Just type stop words list, you'll get it. Okay, so this is all about the loons idea. Now, second topic is the conflation algorithm. So conflation algorithm is also somewhere similar to the loons idea. So conflation algorithm in IRS is used for matching the morphological variants of terms for efficient indexing and faster retrieval operation. Okay. So morphological variants means what? Some words which are having same meaning, which are having same meaning, but they are expressed in different forms. So for example, you can say walk, walks, walker. Basically they are having some same meaning that is walk, action of walk. So this is nothing but the conflation algorithm, which is used for matching the morphological variants. And word conflation is nothing but the process by which a group of words that have the same meaning are reduced to a single term. Okay, as I have mentioned, the same words which are having same meaning but they are expressed in different forms, they are called as conflation. That process is called as conflation. So conflation process can be manually or automatically. It can be done manually or automatically. And the automatic conflation process is called as stemming or stemming algorithms or stemmers. Okay. This process is called a stemming, stemming algorithms or stemmers. And in this algorithm, the document is converted into document represented. So what is this document representative? So it is the representation of document which signifies the only context of document that is what the document speaks about. So, uh, morphological variants we have seen. So actually what the document is talking about the walk. So it will only store that document, cannot store the other forms. It will convert that into a single form and that is nothing but a document represented. Now, uh, how to generate this document representative? So for that, we have to follow three simple steps. So first step is removal of high frequency words or stop words. And it is done by comparing the input text with a stop list of words which are to be removed. We will get a complete list of stop list and uh, we have to compare our input text or input word with that list. And if it matches, we have to remove that word. So this is the first step. Then second step is suffix stripping. So it is a bit complicated process because it has to follow some rules. So typically a smaller list of rules is stored which provides a path for the algorithm given an input word form to find, find its root form. So we know that walk, walks, walker are basically representing the same action that is walk. But how the system will know it? So for that we have to give some algorithm or we have to define some rules so that it can find the root form of the word. Okay. So for your uh, convenience, I have written here three rules. So see here, first rule is if the word ends in ed, we have to remove the ed. So here we can consider the word as walked, W-A-L-K-E-D. So it ends with E-D. So even if we remove that E-D, it does not influence or it does not affect the real meaning of the word. So that is nothing but the first rule. Then second is if the word ends in I-N-G, then we have to remove the I-N-G. Okay. So here we can consider the word uh, drinking. So in that, even if we remove the I-N-G, we'll have the word drink which will also represent the same meaning. So this is the second rule. Then third rule we have the if the word ends in ly, remove the ly. So here we have the example of uh, closely. Okay, C-L-O-S-E-L-Y. So even if we remove the ly, it will not affect the real meaning of the word close. 
right so this is nothing but the rules uh, some rules only i have mentioned here then third step to generate the document representative is to detect the equivalent steps so we have to count the frequency of each word and we have to remove the duplicate terms so this is simple detecting of equivalent steps okay now we will see the example of this conflation algorithm or you can say it as the steaming so here we have the compute computer computing so these are all morphological variants okay and from here we can have a document representative as compute because we have removed these suffixes right e er ing we have removed that and we have only one document representative that is compute which represents these three words then second example we can have walks walking walker and the document representative will be walk then develop developing development and developments and we can have the develop as document representative then collect collecting collection and collections and uh, collect can be a document re document representative which will represent this different morphological variants of the word and also we can remove the articles prepositions pronouns and conjunctions from the document or a query or the uh, sentence whatever we have given okay now we'll see the steps of the conflation algorithm whatever i have explained uh, in the uh, for generation of the document representative that is uh, mentioned here so first we have to open and read each input file and create a single index file so we'll be storing all this whatever we are going to do in a single index file step 2 will be remove all the high frequency words that is stop words and how will uh, how will do this by comparing it with the list of stop words then third step is to remove all the suffixes and affixes from each word if present suffixes we have already seen affixes we'll see after, uh, in few minutes then fourth step is to detect equivalent steps so it means that we have to count the frequency of occurrences for each root word from step 3 after removing the suffixes and affixes we have to count the frequency of words if they are repeated we have to remove them then next is apply rules or algorithms for each root word from step 3 and store in index file then we have to apply the rules and algorithms and we have to store that in the index file so these are five steps that we have to follow for the conflation algorithm now we will see the affix removal or how to remove this affix so here Uh, if a word ends in i e s but it does not ends in e i e s or a i e s, then we have to replace this i e s with y. So we can understand this with the help of uh, one example. That is, uh, we can consider the word queries, q u e r i e s. So it ends with i e s. Okay, and even if we remove that i e s and we have added y, so it makes uh, the word query q u e r y, which has the same meaning that the word queries is having okay just the form is different but it is actually having the same meaning similarly the second rule is there if a word ends in es but not aes eeas or oes then replace es with e so here we can have the word as cares c a r e s so it ends with es and even if we replace that es with e we will get the actual meaning of the word or we does not uh, or what we can say it does not affect the real meaning of the word or the pure form of the word care so this is nothing but the removal of the affix and third one is the if words end in s but not with us or ss then we have to replace s with null so these are some rules that uh, we can uh, apply for the affix removal okay so this is all about the conflation algorithm so in this video we have seen about the loons idea the graph then we have seen what are stop words what is lower cut off upper cut off what is significant words what is resolving power of significant words then we have seen some list of stop words then we have seen conflation algorithm in that we have seen uh, types of conflation algorithm or process that is manual and automatic what the automatic Uh, conflation algorithm called then uh, we have seen these steps to generate the document representative what is document representative okay and then we have seen the example of conflation algorithm and finally we have seen the steps of conflation 
algorithm so this is all about the today's video so if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section and if you understand the concept please like the video share it with your friends and subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos thanks for watching